Hey there, Matt Petrowski here, and in this video we're taking a look at how to input or build your plot in SketchUp. Let's take a look. Okay, welcome to my desktop. We are going to get this done and I'll be as quick as possible so that you understand what's going on. First, we need some terminology. What is the difference between a plat and a plot? Well, your plot is just your one individual little piece that is this one little area within the collection of all of the other plots and that makes up a plat. So as you can see right here, subdivision, the plat is the collection of plots. That's something that I enjoyed learning and maybe you didn't know, but now you do. So we need to get your individual plat or your, excuse me, your individual plot into SketchUp. That means we need to understand some values. Now I'm going to switch over to a copy of my actual uh, plot and that's because it's simple and it's easy. If you have curves in your particular plot, then it's going to be a little bit more difficult because you have to work with arcs and degrees and things like that. Mine, it's a great ex uh, example. If yours is square, wonderful too. And mine only has four sides. If you have you know, many more sides, it's just a little bit more work. But we're going to look at how easy this is. Now, everything is relative to north. We can see right here that I've got a north-facing arrow. And because everything is skewed in what I'm looking at, it won't look the same in SketchUp. But we're not worried about that. If we get the values right, then we're going to be good. Now, we need to understand what are these values. How do we interpret them on our plot from the plat that we are reading. First off, this is the distance at the very end. It's really easy. And then there's two things in front of what are degrees. That's that four right there. Degrees, minutes, and seconds. And we can see right here on this one, it's degrees, 63, 29, 22. Now the values in front and back just tells you which way you're going to start and which way you're going to turn a particular line. So north, and then you're going to go east. So it's pretty simple. It's if you're north, then it's north is up and south is down and we'll see that so the first thing we need to do is we need to get our lines into sketchup each of the lines need to be the exact dimensions that we want them to be so what did i do well i went out and used google like all good googlers i simply just put in because i did know that a survey included uh what they call northings and eastings um i put in the keyword of right here uh, degrees, minutes, seconds converter. The first thing that it came up with, with was this right here. It's from Rapid Tables. I don't know if this will exist when you uh, watch this video. Either way, you just put in degrees, minutes, seconds, converter, or calculator, and it should come up with something like this, where it will simply just do the work for us. So we can see right here, we put in our degrees, our minutes, and our seconds, and it'll do it for us. If you want to understand the math, scroll down a little bit, and it'll show you how many minutes are there in an hour. Um, there's 60 minutes in an hour, so you're dividing by 60. How many seconds are there in uh, an hour or, um, yeah, in an hour, in a minute? <laughs> there is 3,600 in an hour, actually. Yeah, the whole thing's broken down to an hour, I believe. Either way, it doesn't really matter. You just use this calculator and it'll do all the work for you. So it's important to have these off to the side if you're going to use the calculator and have your uh, plot and everything, uh, all the information you need. Now you can see that I already have some lines in here and that's because I put them, I put them in. We will take a look at this. So the first number we're interested in is the one at the end. So I'm just going to use this one example, 132.89 because I won't let you just show you me working in SketchUp. So 132.89. I would just select the line tool or hit L key. I would go down and then I would simply type in 132.89 and I would hit enter. Now, what if your SketchUp, uh, your copy of SketchUp does not, does not let you put in that uh, decimal value where it's very, it, well, it is very possible that you do not have it set up correctly. We go to window and we go to this option right there, model info, we select on units and then we're able to switch from what might be architectural to engineering. When we do that, then we get our decimal precision, our value, and all of our angles so that everything is dead on. We're working as an engineer right now. 
So with all of my lines right here, everything should match up. You can always see that. Let me bring on my entity info here so that we can sort of see, I take my tags off. I like keeping everything clean so that we just focus on what we are interested on. I can select these lines and they will tell me right here relative to what is going on. Let's zoom in right there. So that one's 132.89. The next one is uh, 166.24. 109.52 and then 197. And what you should be able to do, you should be able to go to your plot and double check that those work out. 132.89, 166.24, 109.52. If you get one off even by a few uh, fractions of a point, things may not work out. Now you're able to put in the last one, however you need it to go in, the, the last line, you can actually fill it in. But for me, it's really satisfying to see all of them just fit like the pieces to a puzzle. So with that now, we're going to convert or do all of our conversions. Again, it's best to start in either a clockwise and just go all the way around or counterclockwise, whichever works for you. I have these oriented. This side is this one right here. This one is uh, next and so forth. So we go over to our calculator and we start to calculate things out. So this first one is north four degrees by 43. So I simply put in four. Next one I put in 43. And the next one I put in 39. Now click convert. I don't have to do the math and I can take this value directly into SketchUp. So I simply select it from right here, copy it. And with that on my clipboard, I'm ready to go into SketchUp. Now, the one thing that I need to pay attention to is these two values, the north and the west. And it's really pretty simple. With my lines over here, all we're going to do is we are going to be looking at the lines facing north. So the bottom of the line, north, is going up. If you have a south, then you are going to start from the top because you're facing down. So in this case, because I start with a north, I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm looking up then the rest of it is just a matter of what does the second letter say? Are we going to the east or are we going to the west? And that's all we really have to do. Now the key is we want to get these so that they don't overlap. So I'm going north to west in this particular case with this first line. We'll move that off screen. Uh, zooming out is really good, but again, you want to give yourself a lot of room. So as I select all those, hit the M key and move those off to the side, I don't want this one when I rotate it to simply overlap these because then my ge geometry will be blended because we're with working with raw geometry. So I hit the space bar, I select this, I hit Q, which happens to be the shortcut for our rotate. And again, I'm looking from north and double checking again my uh, document. So I'm going to be going to the west, the, the, the number of degrees that I actually copied from that calculator. So we select our first point, we get our second point right here. Now one key thing is before I select that second point, I like to click in my box. Well, I can't right now. I'll click right here. So notice that the box, the measurement is showing me, um, hopefully the top measurement is showing you. Yeah, it is right there. Um, it doesn't matter east or west what direction you go. So you have to make sure that when you click in the box, uh, like I did right there, in order to activate the box with everything selected so I can paste it, in this case, I have to go back here. Ah, I didn't take it. Stupid SketchUp. I hate how it does this sometimes. Um, we'll go over here. I'll click in here, and I'll click Paste. Does it do it? Ah, I needed to go to the west. So it's a little bit tricky. They messed things up here in uh, SketchUp. They basically made it such that you can't hit the tab key anymore. You used to be able to hit the tab key and it would go into that little box on the Macintosh. If it goes, if it does this on Windows, but I basically can do this by sort of cheating by going over here to this side and then notice that my cursor now, I can select over here and now I can paste it in and it'll actually go to the right order. Um, SketchUp engineers, if you're watching this, Make the tab key work again in SketchUp 2021. If they fix that and you're not hitting that problem, great for you. But it's basically you just do that same thing now. I'll only do one more and then I'll get all of them on there and we'll uh, see how it will just align perfectly. So I started uh, clockwise. So I'm going to do this one. I switch over to my calculator and I'm going to put in, what is that, 63 degrees? I mean, you really don't need to see me typing in numbers right here. 29, but it is super important that you get these exactly right. Convert, and then I copy that with that on my clipboard. In this case, I'm going from north to east, so we'll take this line. We will move it over here, hit my Q, 
and we will go from north. And in this case, I'm going to the east, not to the west. So with it over uh, to the east, I can sort of go over here. I'm still on the east and I'll just paste in my value and there is my line right there. So we'll get the other ones converted and we'll see how we then just merge them all up. All right, and here we go with the easy part. This is now just putting all the pieces of the puzzle in the right place. We go to our move tool with uh, hit M. Uh, again, you don't want, you want to make sure that you select the line. So I'm selecting this with this selection tool and so intentionally selecting the whole line because if you don't, if you just hit the M key and you move, move will move just points. So if I grab this, I'm completely messing up my line right now because I'm not dragging the whole thing. And if I don't select the end point to drop it onto the other point and move the whole line, it's sort of like I'm guessing right there. I'm guessing of where this is going to be. So you have to select the line, then hit the M key for move, grab the point, and drag the point onto the point. So again, spacebar, M, and I'm going to back this off, and I'm going to move that right there. And so now, with all three of those, actually I'll marquee this way and we'll move them into frame here actually I could have just backed that off and moved it right there if I was to close this out I could just hit the line tool and I can just close this out and if I'll go ahead and do that what I should be able to recognize with my plot in SketchUp now if I double uh, if I select this line and if I sort of pop it, look at that, it snaps directly on. So even closing out that last object, I can see that by taking my last item that everything is exactly as it needs to be. There's just one other thing that I'm going to do here because I now have my plot into SketchUp is I'm going to set something for myself and that is a, a north-south arrow. Ar arrow. So remember, we are simply already doing everything north-south because we're just straight on. So I am going to drag a straight line, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, another line right next to this, actually off to the side of it. Let's select there, and then we'll go in, and we'll zoom in really tight right there. I like to just make a nice little arrow right there. And then you can make that black if you want, but that represents your north arrow, and you have your plot in SketchUp. Get rid of our other line here and we're good to go. And now what you're able to do is you're able to use the Solar North plugin and you're able to get your house situated on this, which we'll cover in another video and do all of this, but your plat exactly as it fits on the earth, north, relative to north, east, west, and south is in SketchUp and you're ready to go. Hope this has helped out and uh, made you a more confident builder. We'll see you next time.